I made a North Carolina wildflower. I picked a ladybug. I made a self-portrait. Mine bug was a black widow. I like this one. I like this. I wanted the individual children's art to be celebrated, so I came up with this blank kind of colorful pattern for them to then fill in with their ideas. And so that when you stand back, it reads as one whole mural, but their individual artwork is so small that it invites you in. The center of the mural, that's where our students have some self-portraits. Those self-portraits represent what In Haven is about, the students. I made a plot hound, and it is the state dog of North Carolina. I made the yellow jacket, and it represents nature. I wanted them to feel like their art is important, that art can help them have a sense of community, and that they, as a small artist, are just as important as the famous ones. And now their art is up there. They are. They're in Haven famous. And I like this house. I feel as if our school is an important part of our community, and so this is just kind of the coming together of that um, community piece and allows our students the opportunity to, you know, really be a part of something and, and see themselves and how they fit into our community here. It's a grasshopper because I wanted to be different than anyone at my table, so I picked this. The School Funding Opportunities Program is county funded for the Arts and Science Council to serve as a matchmaker between cultural providers that are listed in our provider directory and schools around the county. The purpose is to bring cultural providers into the schools or to bring schools to cultural providers to create programming opportunities where students can have learning experiences that they might not otherwise have in the classroom. Good, remember pick it up, go in different directions. I was a visiting artist and I collaborated with Catherine, the teacher. We came in and we planned together, so it was truly an integrated lesson, a collaboration from the beginning. And she had the main concept. I came up with the idea of stamping because she wanted to include every student in the school. So the idea of stamping, they could do the work in the classroom and then we could bring them down here. You use a pen to dent how um, over pencil. That's how you make it deeper. You're gonna go back and forth, make a nice even layer. I liked the printing. I mean, you would put it on here, hold it on the wall, hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then boom, it's on there. Okay, press it and hold it, don't let it slide. Good job. All right, and then peel it off. Ta-da! Good job! Nice work. With Ms. Hutchins, I learned how to do different patterns. So we both got to see each other's work, and I know he practiced hard on this, and so did I. When you walk into the school building, you get a sense of community, oh, nice. you get different children working together, and it's just like one big family. I know we put very much hard work, dedication, and um, it was very fun to work on. Yeah, I am very proud. I made a stick bug. I made a ladybug. Everyone had to, like, did a piece in this, well, so it's everyone's here. artwork, really. It's not just one person's. And to know my daughter will have, um, have her print there and for however many years it's here on the wall, I mean, it's special to her. She's even said that to me, that, that um, to have something be a part of the school going forward, even though she won't be here anymore, she's proud of that. They know that this is something that other students can enjoy and that also they're paying back in a way to the, to the school, um, a little piece of their art for us to always have up there and remember them by. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.